creating a bar graph in using your heart rate. So opening up your heart rate sheet that you made when we were doing exercises. And we're going to start by making a bar graph. Click in A1, let go of your click, then click and hold your click and drag until you have highlighted should be C7, but it'll be whatever is the last day that your group had their last exercise that you were present for. And on your menu bar, you will see insert chart. We are going to start with a bar graph, go to chart types, and we're going to do a column chart. Say insert. One of the goals we have for this is learning how to color. So by clicking on one of the data lines, you will see this little menu come up and we can choose whatever color we would like and then you click on the tall line and you can choose whatever your color you'd like there works for me want to learn how to label your charts so when you click on that bar over on the right here you'll see that a data label just turn the value on Data label value. That is really hard to read that light green. You have the ability to change that. I'll show you that in a minute. Looking at the different labels, this is the name of my graph. It grabbed that from this. This is the x axis and it is that's label. We're going to rotate our labels here, so click on the actual dates and you can use the slant label. Try just 30%. That looks better. And we are missing the label over here. None of there is a choice, so I'll show you how to get those things. Right here in the corner is a little arrow, Advanced Edit. When we get in here, first let's solve the fact that our horizontal axis does not have a label. Here's Access. We have left vertical and horizontal. I just called this vertical one the horizontal one, didn't I? Anyway, left vertical. If you change that, you'll notice there is no title. This was our heart rate, which is counted in beats per minute. Notice how you spell those things when you're making charts and graphs. Spelling is very important, so beats per minute. As soon as you click out of that, it will land there. We talked about how these colors were very difficult to read. Those are the access labels. And right now, when you click on the color, it is using the style. You can say black. Why did that not change? Oh, I'm in the wrong spot, sorry. Series. Series. That's what I want to call it. The data labels. Click on the color and it's using the color from the series. But since that light green is really difficult to read, we can change it to black. Or you can change it to something obnoxious. So long as you can read it. That's the whole goal. So we have added the vertical axis label. This label came automatically. Our legend came automatically. We've changed color and our title should be fine as long as everything was spelled fine earlier. Update. If you don't have something spelled right here, go check, go fix that. I think I want the word after since it's part of the title, the A to be capitalized. And in order to get that to update, I, think I can do that in advanced edit. I'm 
Nope. Too late. I have to do it here myself. Update. There we go. Then you're going to take a screenshot of this. Shift Command 4. Make sure you take a screenshot so you even get just the little lines included. And you will be turning this in as the bar graph for Google Sheets.